The following program contains sexual content. Viewer discretion advised. Today, on an all-new Dr. Phil, she claims her ex molested their daughter. Absolutely not. You are a sick individual. You're coaching her. We Why? don't coach her. What? We don't say bad things about you. You don't say bad things about me. You're doing it on national television. My granddaughter has suffered at the hands of this animal. You're telling me that two weeks after this man raped your child, you let him have visitation with her. I didn't know what to do, Dr. Phil. I was unsure how, how, how truthful it was. But now you're sure? Yeah. You accuse him of the abuse, but you don't call the police for 16 days. That just seems like really unusual behavior for a mother of a molested child. Dr. Phil, I will take a lot of time to test right now for you, I swear to you. Let's do it. Have a good show, everybody. Here we go. This is a safe place to talk about hard things. Stand by. We'll count you down. Today's going to be a changing day in your life. sat down with Crystal, her ex-boyfriend Anthony, and her mother Barbara. Now Crystal and Barbara accused Anthony of the unthinkable, sexually assaulting his and Crystal's three-year-old daughter on at least two separate occasions. Now Crystal claimed she was 100% certain Anthony raped her daughter because three-year-old Marie's story has never once changed. Crystal claims she even recorded this home video a week after her daughter's first alleged sexual assault. What did daddy do to you? He put his in it was stinging. He put his in it was stinging? Yeah. Now, despite what you just heard, Anthony was adamant that he has never touched his daughter inappropriately. He also accused them of brainwashing and coaching his daughter into making these unfounded allegations. Crystal said she's certain Anthony is a monster and promised she would do whatever it takes to protect her daughter, including going on the run. Here's what happened yesterday. Anthony sexually assaulted our daughter. My daughter told me, my pee, -pee is stinging. Please put medicine on it. But how did he hurt you? He played Six months after the first incident, it was Christmas Eve when he brought her home. She just flat out said, Mommy, Daddy, I will never let them breathe the same air. Never. She says, Mommy, my pee pee is stinging. Please put medicine on it. I just Did thought you... maybe she was didn't wipe right. But you waited seven days to take her to a pediatrician? It was about five, five days. That was seven. Did you call the police? Yes, I did. Right immediately. The police report says you called 16 days later. Anthony is a lying sexual predator monster. No pee pee, daddy. He's a naughty daddy. My justice for him will be if somebody put a Buick as he's screaming, no, no, no. You mentioned the object that she was raped with, but you didn't mention it to the police. No, I didn't. Okay. It's not in the police report. I've got them all here, and right. it's not in any of them. I would never molest my daughter. Crystal is a total liar. As soon as she turned one and I filed the paperwork for my custody, that's when everything took a turn. She accused me of holding my daughter down and committing a sexual act. Uh, Anthony, did you molest your daughter? Absolutely not, 100%. This You're has been coached liar, from Anthony. day one. <laughs> Show physical listen. evidence and put I me have, in jail. I have, I have, I have. Good, has in his get hand. lie detectors, please, do everything please, we please have do, to do, Dr. Do. Phil. You are out of your mind. Anthony is a devil. How would I describe him as a father? Has the pit sound. We don't want him in our lives. Goodbye, get lost, adios, see you later. Hasta la vista, baby. You want to know the truth, or you think I you already know the truth? No one, no one convinces me. Do you understand that, Anthony? Satan? What I have heard from my granddaughter's mouth, I could oh, throw I up right here on the stage. Uh, you got a nerve. That's what I've done? That's then what how you've did the done? judge turn it over two times? You psychomaniac. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Children don't lie. Babies don't lie. Two-year-olds get coached by people, by crazy people like you. You know you're lying. You keep being the narcissistic drug addict. Nana. What I wear? Nana, hold on. When people behave like this, it suggests to me that you're not wanting to get to the truth. Is it possible you're wrong? No. My daughter is living a nightmare. She'll scream for hours and cry and say, no, 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 no. She's not that child. She's happy. Oh, God, she's punched me right in the face. She's an angel. You don't seem to understand. If they observe that this child has been raped, they have 24 hours to report it. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. The both of them are coaching this child to a T, no doubt in my mind. We don't prompt this child. There's no need to. She does it all on her own. You came out with a bold statement. I have irrefutable medical proof that this happened. On examination, you actually don't. Now, I want to take a look in some detail at what took place and how all of this unfolded. As I said, I've deconstructed this whole thing, and I think when you look at the sequence of events, it raises some questions at many different levels. June 29th, after visitation, she says her pee-pee hurts, okay? You think nothing of it. There's no reason to, right? It's just something a child says. Kids say that a lot. But you say it's mentioned there, but you don't think anything of it, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Now we get to July 6th. After visitation, Pee Pee stings. Her father hurt her boopy. So at this point, there's a doctor exam for the abuse, but it's seven days later. And you don't report it to the police for 16 days. I was wrong for that. I do know that. I do know that. That I, I, that I don't understand. So let's see what happens on the 13th here that we talk about. You take the child to the pediatrician because of, of swollen genitals, and the doctor says, quote, no physical evidence of anything suspicious happening, not compelled to call DCF. Now that's what the pediatrician said when you took her there seven days later. Now at that point, it had been seven days. So if something had happened, it has seven days to heal up, cure up, seven baths, seven so I, I, I just don't know. I, I, you're the first mother that's had a child that reports having been raped that didn't take them to a health care provider for a week. So it could have, the evidence could have gone away in that period of time. Then on the 20th, you allow him to have visitation with the child. I did not allow him. I'm sorry? I did not allow him. I did not allow him. They made me give him visitation. I never allowed it. Ever. Ever. Well, here's my problem. On July 6th, your child comes home and tells you that this man raped her with an object, and two weeks later, you deliver her into the hands of a I known did not rapist? Do that. I did not do that. I did not want him to have visitation after she told me what happened to her. Did, did you did deliver want... her to him no, on the I 20th? Did not. No, I did not. Did you have visitation on the 20th? Yeah, yes. I'm sure he did. I'm sure and he why did. Why did I? Because you, were, you, had, you had visitation. Okay. And how many times did I go there with the police that I didn't get her, right. whether court order or not, you didn't care? So I'm mm -hmm. a harm, but you're giving me my daughter back. Makes a lot of sense, no, don't it? No, I did not. I never gave her to you after that. Well, you didn't give her to me? A lot of visitation on the 20th. Who you. made you? The, the law did, not the me. The law did? I didn't what about me. the other 20 like times I went with a court order and you said no? Someone has raped your child with an object, and you don't mention that.
It wasn't an object, it was his object. You're telling me now it's not a stick? And later... I could take a polygraph right now. I'm telling you I did not rehearse this with her. I'll take a polygraph right now. Well, you actually kind of did. Tomorrow, she's 21. Your daughter is hooking. Don't knock it till you try it. A young mom. You said your son means everything to you. Why is your mother raising your son instead of you? With no place to call home. It doesn't bother you that you are with a bunch of weirdos. You bother me. She never showed up until Ivy started having money. That is no. so funny. You are such a hood rat. Okay, I'll be a hood rat and you're a horrible mom. Then on Thursday, is she being conned? I'm the wife of Tyler Perry. By a catfish. It's possible that he's not real. He's real. It is not possible that he's fake. That's Thursday. You're telling me that two weeks after this man raped your child with an object, you let him have visitation with her? I did not let him have visitation. Did he have visitation with her? Might have had it with me, but not by himself. He did have supervised visits for a long time, Dr. Phil. He had it with me, supervision. He had it with his mother, supervision. For six months, not two years. Right. This is only becoming, this only came out with the evidence that, that I, we've got. I had, yeah, I had to take something versus nothing with the parenting plan because you weren't Anthony, willing to give an inch. Anthony. Anthony, you, do, you know do damn. drugs. You drink and drive. Okay. Your history. Uh, oh, oh, stop, stop talking. Stop, no, no. Uh, listen, I'm not interested in talking about his alcohol and drug behavior. If, if I, don't, I don't care if he's a fallen down drunk and a meth addict. That's a whole different story. What I'm interested in is somebody explaining to me how a mother who believes that a man has raped her child with an object two weeks later with her, without her, says, yeah, let's go. I didn't know what to do, Dr. Phil. I was unsure how, how, how truthful it was. I really didn't know. And I was wrong for, doing, for waiting so long. I know I was. You were unsure how truthful it was? I did not know if children lied about that, that kind of thing. I really did not know. Once, once I found but out. But now you're sure. Yes. Her story has not changed one bit. God, you need help. <laughs> you need help, Anthony. She has not, she oh keeps talking goodness. about it like it was Let's yesterday. Let's continue the timeline. So then five days later, you file an order of protection against Anthony. And you did not include in the statement anything about the use of an object. Someone has raped your child with an object, and when you file an order to limit him, you don't mention that. It wasn't an object, it was his object. It wasn't a stick, Dr. Phil. She keeps putting things in my mother and me, and that's not worry, it's not gonna tickle, it's only gonna tickle, it's not gonna hurt. She does this on her own. Nobody's coaxing her, nobody's telling her to do these things. She's doing this on her own. You don't seem to understand that I don't take deflection. I'm not deflecting, that's really no, how it happened. No, you're trying to, you're I'm just not. not. That's really how it happened. You're telling me You're telling me that 19 days after your daughter tells you she's been raped by this man with a stick and you're telling me now it's not a stick? It is his she says stick. She says stick. And we don't argue with her. We don't, we don't question tell her, her what, what it is. kind of stick. We didn't. How was it? You don't do that. That's what we her just therapist let did. Her speak and she speaks. That's all. Her therapist asks all those questions. Listen not to me. what she hears in that household. Really, um, Anthony? That, Come on, Anthony. The mouth on you, too. Really, Anthony? Okay. Think about what you're saying. Well, either way, you don't mention that when you file this order. I'm pretty sure I did. I don't uh, well, know. I'd have to feel if, it, if I knew about that. They just that, left that out. If I knew about the, if I knew about it, I had to have said it. I know I wouldn't have not said it if I knew about it. It has been two years since all that happened. Well, you told us that's what she said that it night. It is what it, it, it. No, what happened? That's what she said that day that her daddy that her daddy hurt her pee pee. Yes. Her daddy. It really hurt what she said. Okay. So she did say it? Yes. And then you didn't say it when you filed the order.
I don't know how that would have happened. If I would have known that, I would have said it. I wasn't with you when you filed the You didn't report, say it because anyone. it didn't happen. Anthony, it did happen. <clears throat> it did happen, and I know it happened, and I know you did it to her. She wouldn't lie about it. You are her father. You said, if I had known about it, I would have said it. You knew about it. So if I, if I knew about it, then I had to say it, and they might not have put it and in And you order. didn't know about it then because you didn't say it. And the reason you didn't say it here is because she didn't say it here. Is that what you're telling me? She did say it there. Then you would have said it here, according to you. If she had said it here, you would have said it here. So if she didn't say it here, you wouldn't have said it here. It has to be in the report somewhere in that report. It is not. No. Well, that's a pretty odd thing to leave out. Yeah, it is. <sighs> it is. My two-and-a-half-year-old daughter has been raped... I forgot to mention that. <laughs> now, Barbara. I wasn't with her when she filed the restraining order, but I know that in the police report, there's been a lot of stuff that went on. There's been a lot of inaccuracies. There really has been. Don't you think that's a pretty big one to slip through the cracks? Yes. Yes, it is. It's a pretty, yes, it's huge. Absolutely. 100%. <sighs> She comes home that night, says, Daddy, bleep, and it was disgusting. But you don't call the police. Well, he parks near your house, and you call the police immediately. And later, when you're making certain statements about something that you say did happen, you're shaking your head no. This is crazy. This February. I believe that Tyler Perry is raising my son. So you are married to Tyler Perry? Yes, I am. I have not seen him face to face. How did somebody get eggs out of your body? I don't know. Who does know? Tyler knows. You dig deeper. My younger sister faked being pregnant. You gave her a positive pregnancy stick. Where'd you get it? To uncover the truth. You knew you weren't pregnant. Why did you do that? I don't know. I don't accept that answer. You'll fight stronger. My mom is so religious. She thinks any skirt over the knee is sinful. To protect the innocent. You try to read the Harry Potter books? It promotes witchcraft. There's something wrong with you. You're a waste of a life. I'm sorry, Dr. Phil, but... Well, you should be sorry. You've not said one positive thing about this young woman since you walked out here. This February... I believe my three-year-old granddaughter unequivocally. Her story does not vary, not an iota. Without a doubt, I believe my daughter. She tells me the same story, and if it's not the same, it's more detail. No, there is no way that my daughter told them any of the things that I'm being accused of. Every time that I would ask her, do you want to go to your daddy? No, I don't want to No way. There's no part in my body in my heart that my daughter is saying the things that they're accusing her of saying. She's got to be being coached. She takes the child to this Nancy J. Cotterman Center for Sex Abuse. Exam normal. Could neither confirm nor negate any sexual abuse. She allows visitation for to go get a Christmas tree. They made me give her to him. That's not Christmas Eve. He told me No, that was 18th. Christmas Eve. That's this is this is a week yeah, before. Yeah, they, they, he had visit. He had visitation. Okay. If I didn't allow him to get visitation, they would not. They would have taken okay. me to jail. So you've now delivered your daughter to a known rapist the second time. I didn't deliver her. Okay. Again, despite the allegation. Then. Prosecution declines to file the case. There's no reasonable likelihood of conviction. Then on the 24th, the police ordered visitation. She comes home that night, says, Daddy, bleep, and it was disgusting. And you do not call the police. You call Anthony on Christmas Day and accuse him of the abuse. But you don't call the police. I'm missing files somewhere. I know I did. I'm sorry? I know I did had to have reported that, Dr. Phil. This I, is, I'm sorry, I can't this hear is, you. I know I had Christmas Eve. 
We did not call the police on Christmas Eve. I didn't call. It was two o'clock in the morning. Oh, you're right. You didn't call them on Christmas Day either. No, I didn't know. No, I didn't know. You didn't call them on Christmas Day either. But January 1st, you allowed visitation. One to two hours afterwards, Barbara calls the police about the alleged event here. So a week later, you turn your daughter over to a known rapist for a third time. And then your mother calls the police. So you've allowed this despite the second accusation seven days earlier. Now, June 9th, you take the child to the same pediatrician that you did back on the 13th. And this is when they report child sex abuse suspected from the subsequent encounter down there because of what you wrote. And on July 9th, you say Anthony parks near Crystal in Barbara's apartment. And so you call the police immediately. So he parks near your house and you call the police immediately. That just seems like really unusual behavior for a mother of a molested child. I know. Crystal's very literal. And she has issues with certain things, and she doesn't. And I'm not going to force her or push her. I'm 60. She's 36. It's her child. She needs to do what she needs to do. I support her. I heard. I see. I know what he does. It's our child, not yours. It's not my child. I you have doing our enough. child, you not enough. yours. Oh, you, you did enough to her, her, Anthony. But you doesn't understand doesn't that, 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 that she has a full belief that he's done something inappropriate with the daughter in the bathroom, does not call the police. It was Christmas uh, Eve. It was very, believe me, we couldn't get the child to go to sleep. It was, it was in the really, middle of the night. It really wasn't even... very upsetting. She didn't want the child to go to begin with. We had the cops, he's banging on doors, my ex-husband, and I mean, he was just like out of his mind. And the police, after the, he took the cop, the baby, the police read the report from the doctor and he said, I'm really sorry. I'm sorry that I forced the issue. So in all actuality, I blame the police for forcing the issue, scaring her that they were going to take her to jail if she did not allow the baby to go with him. It was a very, it was very horrific. It really was. So what really happened here? We're going to talk about what I think is going on when we come back. We don't say bad things about you. We do not. You don't talk. say bad things not about me. Not Are you out of your mind? We never. We're doing it on national mind. television. Like, never How many false hurt. accusations never is there going to be? My daughter says I want a new daddy. She'd ask me to get her a new daddy. Mommy, can we buy a new daddy? Well, let's go to Walmart. Let's go see if we can find one on sale today. She loves her dad. She just doesn't want to be anywhere near him. My granddaughter has suffered at the hands of this animal, and she shouldn't have had to. She was brought into this world an innocent child. And I'll do what I have to until my dying breath to help my granddaughter. You're leaning heavily on what the child has said. And um, we, we saw a little bit of this video earlier. But now I want to really examine this. Here is Crystal's three-year-old daughter back in July of 2016 uh, when she was only two and a half years old. So this is back at the beginning of the timeline. So this is after July 6th when supposedly you're now saying that she was raped not with an object, but just I'm, by her I'm, father. I'm just saying that's what she said. She said stick. I don't know what else could else be a stick. Well, that little girl didn't know Okay, according to she Crystal... Doesn't know what it, she doesn't know what it meant. She doesn't know what it... This video was taken one week after Chris... of what Crystal alleges was Anthony's first sexual assault on their daughter. So let's take a look at this recording. <clears throat> what did Daddy do to you? He hurt it. How? Dad. But how did he hurt you? He put his in your and it's stinging. He put his in your and it was stinging? Yeah. 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 Did he ever do that to you before? Yeah. He did? Yeah. Did you tell him that it hurt? Yeah. And did he stop? Yeah, he did stop. I'm so sorry that daddy hurt your 
You are a sick individual. You are a sick individual. Let's look at December, and then we'll talk. I need to make a phone call. Who do you want to call? And to me. Do? Yeah. What do you want to tell her? I'm going to call my dad first. Okay. Uh, I think he's not answering the phone. Try. Oh, it's my dad. Okay. I pushed the phone button like that. It's a green one. Tell him what you want to tell him. No pee Daddy, he's gone. He disappeared. He's a naughty daddy. He's a naughty daddy? Yeah. How come nobody told me about this? I just did. I just did. I just did. She's trying to be articulate in her own little brain and figure out what's normal, what's not normal for a father and a daughter. Mommy, Nana, can I buy, can you buy me a new daddy? Why would a child she wants say these daddy. things? She, no, we don't, do, we don't say bad things about you. We do not. You say don't say bad things about me? Not Are you out of your mind? We never We're doing it on national television. Never How many false her. accusations never is there going to be? Never to her. We never did that, ever. Oh, come on. There's How much more can you coach a child? We don't your sister? Coach her. She That's says yes to 95% of no, what you ask. No, she, no, she does not. No, she does not. She, she doesn't? Does not. She was in my possession for a year and a half. Anthony, she, she does not. Possession. She does not. We have Every time I picked her up and dropped her off, we have never she was fine. Sister. So we have two different trials. In my sister? possession, she's an angel. In your possession, she's the devil, apparently. She's not the devil. How did she bring up your sister? Apparently. How many times are you going to try it? Can call his sister? How many times are you going to try it? How many sister? more people are you going to call? You're going to call more judges? You're going to call more cops? I like to talk to your How sister. How many more are you going to call? I like to speak to your sister. Speak to whoever you'd like. Jeez. This is beyond sickening. Beyond sickening. Beyond sickening. The two of you need help. Just because you got hurt or whatever in your day in childhood, don't mean you need to bring to do, this to our child. My, father. my child not my is not going to be sneaking out of windows my at 10 or 10 years old like you it were. Was not I'm my sorry. Father. That's my main fear. It was she's going to turn out like you two. We think you're going to uh, kidnap her like your father kidnapped you. Okay? When I'm telling you, Chicken Wing Man knocks at the door, she'll tell the Chicken Wing Man, the Chinese food delivery, she tells these people. In my 60 years, children just don't say these things. Tomorrow, she's 21. Your daughter is hooking. Don't knock it till you try it. A young mom. You said your son means everything to you. Why is your mother raising your son instead of you? With no place to call home. It doesn't bother you that you are with a bunch of weirdos. You bother me. She never showed up until Ivy started having money. That is no. so funny. You are such a hood rat. Okay, I'll be a hood rat, and you're a horrible mom. Then on Thursday, is she being conned? I'm the wife of Tyler Perry. By a catfish. It's possible that he's not real. He's real. It is not possible that he's fake. That's Thursday. I have some great news. Okay. I have some great news. After looking at those two videos, in my professional opinion, no one has violated your granddaughter. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to tell you why I say that, because I can't tell you across 45 years how many times I've interviewed children forensically that have been violated in that way. Uh, her affect is all wrong. All right. Her demeanor, her emotion, the tone of her voice, the tenor, what you're seeing there is that she's, she's playing a game. She's playing a game, and her, her, <laughs> the story's too pat. Um, it's it's devoid of of pain. It's you're you're not seeing the the trauma that would be associated with a child that had been raped by an adult. 
Um, first off, she wouldn't want to be talking about it. She wouldn't be talking about, oh, let's, let's call. Let's, you know, let's do, trust me, that's not. She was with the therapist. He said to us after he had her, he has her on his own, that she does these things with the dolls, that she has seen his, that he showers with her. All of these things she told the therapist without us present. And he wrote a letter to the judge, spoke on Skype to the judge. We didn't know what else to do with her, but try to get her help. And I think you were very well intended. We, I, 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 I do. I, I think you're very well intended. I think, I, I don't know whether you think I know what I'm doing or not, but I can tell you that the affect is not that of a child. She's not afraid of us, so there's no reason for her to not tell us. I don't, there's no fear when she speaks about it. There is none. When I'm telling you chicken wing man knocks at the door, she'll tell the chicken wing man, the Chinese food delivery, she tells these people. I'm, well, uh, to me, in my 60 years, children just don't say these things. She's, she's saying it because she doesn't understand the gravity of what she's saying because she hasn't been traumatized. The story is well rehearsed. She's willing to tell it. This rehearsed, is what she Dr. does. Phil. This is not rehearsed. I swear, I could tell. I could take a polygraph right now. I'm telling you, I did not rehearse this with her. Well, everything that you've done involved in this situation is inconsistent with a mother of a child that has been traumatized. In I this agree way. with the beginning of this, but I did not call it in. I do agree with that. 100%. Dr. Phil, I'm telling you right now, I did not go hoax my daughter. I'll take a polygraph right now. Well, you actually kind of did, because I want to take a look at something here. I almost passed out. I actually think I vomited. I believe my daughter 100%. I have medical proof that she was sexually assaulted by her father. I want to expose him for everything that he is. The first time Anthony raped our daughter, she was visiting with her father. I just picked a couple of examples, and I'm going to play this back for you to see. There's something that we refer to as micro expressions and leakage when you're making certain statements about something that you say did happen you're shaking your head no that it didn't happen and okay. when people are lying about something they lying. invariably will put their hands to their face and shake lying. their head no so let's take a look at this one more time I'm and see if you lying, shake Dr. your head Phil. no and put your hands to your face while you're talking this is crazy. I actually think I vomited. I believe my daughter 100%. It's the truth. It's the truth. That's exactly how it happened, Dr. Fry. I can tell you right now, I'm not lying. Taken into context with all the other inconsistencies about having a child that tells you that she's been raped and you do nothing about it and then deliver the child to the hands of the rapist, not once, not twice, but three times. Don't call for help, don't call for doctors, don't call for law enforcement. There's just overwhelming inconsistencies here. I was wrong for not doing that, Dr. Phil, but I will take a polygraph for you. You, you tell no me problem. that I have irrefutable medical evidence when in fact you have none. This is crazy. I, I have to tell you that I have real questions about this. So what needs to be done here? I'll tell you when we come back. The number one show in daytime is taping now. All we need is you. You're going to be in the Los Angeles area and want to watch a live taping of the Dr. Phil show? Call 323-461-PHIL. That's 323-461-7445 or visit drphil.com. Tickets are free and I hope to see you soon. This is a very dysfunctional situation. Um, Barbara, I don't know if you can help in this situation or, or not. I think these two have a very dysfunctional and combative relationship. I think sometimes we can um, lose ourselves in a situation and one thing leads to another and it just gains momentum. But 
I can tell you, to me, this isn't a close call. Uh, it's, it's not easy for me to, to say this. This is not true. Um, but, you know, when I see things that y you say your daughter's been raped and then you file a police report and don't mention it, come on, Barbara. I wasn't with her when she did I, I didn't so ask I if you were with her. I'm asking, come on. I don't, come on, I, be an adult here. True, be an, an adult, adult and care that about that the child. Be. I do care, care about, about the child that. here. Your daughter says that her, her daughter was raped. She files a police report and doesn't mention that. Come on. But I'm telling you that this either needs to be acknowledged and dealt with or there's going to be an intervention here because this child is not in a healthy situation and she either needs to be removed from this home oh or something needs to happen. She said this. And I'm relying on you to be objective here. Does that make common no. sense to you? And I wanted her to call, but then I that cannot calls, But the fact is, she didn't. I and, know. And the reason she didn't is because she didn't feel any genuine urgency to do so. I think she was more afraid. She had been given bad advice. Is that advice. possible, or is it possible that she didn't feel any genuine urgency no, to do so? No, she did feel it, but she, she was afraid. She that was there afraid. was not any real problem here. No, she knew there was, but she had been given advice that was not right. Okay. And I kept telling her, don't well, listen to these people. I'm sorry don't to hear you say that. People. I'm sorry to hear you say that that and dismiss the alternative because that means you're not really a resource for me here. That's I don't story. believe you. I will take a lie detector test for you. I swear to you I did not make my daughter say these things. I'm happy for you to take a polygraph if you want to. I will. I did I... not make my daughter say these things at all. Ever. Never once did I tell her to say anything if bad. If this be the case, I would like to know why why she is making this up. I would if never she's do that, I don't ever. believe she is, but where, hold on, let me finish. Why would she come up with this? Where would she come up with this? What would make her come up with this? You guys well, coaching her. We why? don't coach her. Why would I okay, do that and on, then call Dr. On. Phil? I think, we don't um, coach her. Well, I, I'll answer both of those questions. One, why, and why you would call me. Why you would call me is I think you greatly underestimated. No, I didn't, Dr. The, Phil. I swear the, to you, I didn't believe you. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll take a lot of detectors right now. I never once said to my daughter, and ever. You'll, you'll take a lie detector test just like you'll bring me medical proof. I'll take a test and, right now. I'll walk up the stage yeah, and take a test right I now know. for you. I swear I to know. you, I will. I know, and, and you won't pass it. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Um, What's coming up on Dr. Phil? Visit our website and subscribe to our email newsletter. You'll get weekly updates, live strategies, and exclusive video that you won't find anywhere else. Plus, on drphil.com, you can see sneak previews of upcoming shows. Log on today. You need to listen to me. I th and I'm very sorry about this. I think you've been damaged in your life along the way, and I don't think that you've ever had help with that. And I think that sometimes we project that pain on to people that we love and we become so overprotective and we kind of get paranoid and we kind of get to the point that we see a snake under every rock and we can really distort and embellish things to the point that you may actually believe some of the things that you're saying. Oh my God. Uh, but your behavior, both conscious and unconscious, suggests that you know better. Dr. Phil, no. I've never once okay, said Okay, then tell me her. why you have a daughter that you believe has been raped and you don't call anybody for help the night that you find scared. out about it. I was it. scared. You don't get that scared. You don't get so selfish scared. that your fear overcomes your maternal responsibility to a child. If you are so selfish that your fear overrides your responsibility to that child, then you're not ready to be a mother. I never did this to her. I didn't do this to her. He did this. You're showing a, a monumental lack of insight here, and I'm trying to help you every way I can. You need help. I will get you help. 
Is you're not me? being a resource here this because is you're enabling her to the point. I don't want to enable her. That's why I didn't. This well, but not... I could have forced her to call the police. This I is wouldn't. not about She's me, not my child. Phil. She's my grandchild. It's her job to you call You need to recognize the fact that your daughter has distorted reality here at the expense of your granddaughter. Wow. Now, you can dislike him all you want. He may be the biggest son of a bitch this side of the Mississippi. I don't know. <laughs> but that and being a child rapist are two very different things. What you happened to my daughter? Okay. You can tell you he may be a horse's ass, but him. being a horse's ass and a child rapist are two dramatically different things. You both things. know I would never harm that Anthony, child. I'm believing my daughter. I'm believing her. I never once said anything to her to tell okay. you about to tell her anything, <clears throat> ever. Well, uh, I, I'm going to offer help to this family. I'm going to offer help to you to try to get your bearings here. My job, as I see it, is to unify families, not break apart families. I want this daughter to stay with her mother and her father. I, I, I don't want to spin this child off into foster care, mm -hmm. but that's exactly what's gonna happen if I don't get some acknowledgement and awareness here because I am a mandated reporter and I am either gonna fix this or I'm gonna report it I'm either going to get some acknowledgement and get a plan in place, or I'm going to report this before dark today. Um, I want to thank all of my guests. I know this is being very difficult. Uh, I will uh, keep you posted on what happens. I hope you're willing to stop stonewalling here and accept some help. I will. I'll take whatever you want to Because give. if you don't... Um, I'm calling DCFS and I'm, I'm reporting this and I'm going to get this child to safety. Oh, One way or another. We'll see you next time. All right, thank you. I hope you're listening.